Hello first graders, it is Miss Olson, and this week we are starting a special read aloud series. I finally got my Junie B. Jones books in the mail yesterday, so I'm going to be reading, starting with Junie B. Jones' One Man Band. This is the one that we were reading in class, and I could not remember what chapter we were on, so I'm just going to start at chapter one, and if we are rereading a couple chapters, that's okay. It's been a while since we read it anyways. Um, and I will show you the pictures when there is a picture. So chapter one is called Kicking the Cow. Monday, dear first grade journal, a kickball tournament, a kickball tournament. The whole entire first grade is going to have a kickball tournament. My teacher told us that news last week and I can't even stop thinking about it. Our families are going to come and everything. I have been practicing my kicking every day after school. I can kick high and low and fast and slow and to and fro and pro and con. When I grow up, I will have my own kicking show on TV, probably. From Junie B, first grader. I smiled at that nice thought. Then I peeked over the side of my desk and I tried to wiggle my piggy toe. It still felt sore. That's because yesterday a little trouble happened when I was practicing in my backyard. And it's called, I accidentally kicked my ball over the fence and I didn't want to go get it, so I had to find something else to kick. We've definitely read this part, so see if you can remember what she kicked instead of the ball. And then, ha, I spied mother's brand new watering can. It was the one with the funny cow painted on it and it was sitting right out in the middle of the yard. I laughed out loud at that perfect target. I bet I can kick that silly cow right over the moon, I said. Then I rubbed my hands together, very excited. And I backed all the way up to the fence. Then, vroom, I took off running and zoom, I ran faster and faster. And kaboom, I kicked that can as hard as I could. And owie, ow, ow, that dumb bunny can was filled full of water and nobody even told me about that problem. I fell down in the grass very painful. Then I rolled around and around and I hollered real loud. My toe, my toe, my toe, I hollered. My toe, my toe. Mother hurried to the back door. Junie B, oh my goodness, what's wrong, she called. My toe is wrong, my toe is wrong. 911, I yelled. Mother hurried outside and took off my shoe and sock. She looked at my toe. Ow, 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 I yelled again. Mother hugged me. What in the world did you do to hurt it so badly, she asked. There she is, lying on the ground. Did you trip over a rock or something? I did a gulp. Because maybe I shouldn't mention that I kicked her can, possibly. Mother waited for me to answer. Then, very slow, her eyes glanced over to her cow. He had a giant dent in his head. Also, his nose did not look normal. Mother did a frown. Junie B, she said very suspicious. What's the story here? I looked back at her real impressed. That woman is sharp as a tack, I tell you. Finally, I did a sigh and I told her the story here. Yeah, only this wasn't even my fault, Mother, I said. It really, really wasn't. On account of at first I was practicing my kicking, and then my ball went over the fence, and so what was I supposed to do? Kick air? I did a thumbs up. But good news, I said, because just then I saw your cow can, and so I ran at him with all my might and kicked him as hard as I could. Only too bad for me, because that stupid thing was filled with water, and now I have a smashed piggy toe. I thought for a minute, then I folded my hands in my lap very quiet. The end, I said. Mother did not look happy with me. Gee, imagine that. A watering can actually had water in it. How unusual, she said. That is called sarcastic, I believe. After that, Mother carried me inside and she called the doctor and he told her to raise it up on a pillow and use ice. So guess what? At first it felt a little better. Only this morning when I got dressed, it hurt to put on my shoe. And so even though it was chilly outside, Mother said I should wear sandals to school. And so that's how come I keep checking on it this morning to see if it's feeling any better. I closed my journal real quiet, then I bent over in my chair and I patted my toe very gentle. Next to me, May made a face. You shouldn't play with your feet, Junie Jones, she whispered. Playing with feet is what stinky people do. I stuck out my tongue at that girl. I still get a kick out of that behavior. After that, I sat back up again and I stacked my first grade dictionary on top of my journal. Then I laid my head on my desk and I daydreamed about the kickball tournament. Some more. In my dream, I was the only person in room one who could kick the ball. 
That's because all of the other children in room one had broken legs, on account of accidents happen sometimes. And so I played in the tournament all by myself, and I won the whole darn thing without any help. I was the star of room one. All of my friends shouted and cheered and hugged me very happy, and they threw confetti on my head. Only not May. May threw a small potato. That was uncalled for, I believe. Chapter 2 is called More Piggy Problems. I stayed in my daydream a real long time. Also, I think I snored a little bit. Then, all of a sudden, smack! Mr. Scary clapped his loud hands together, and that noise scared the daylights out of me, I tell you. I jumped straight up in my seat, and my arms flinged out very crazy. Then my hand knocked into my dictionary, and oh no, oh no! That heavy book went over the edge of my desk and landed on my sore toe. Ow! I shouted real loud. Ow! 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 I reached for my foot, and I started to cry. Mr. Scary came running back to me. Then he sent Herbert to the school or to the school nurse to get some ice. And hooray for Herbert, because he brought that woman back with him. Her name is Mrs. Weller. I know her from previous accidents. Mrs. Weller gave me some tissues, and she put an ice bag on my pee toe. It felt heavy and soggy on that sore guy. I pulled my foot away, but she put it right back again. Please, Junie B, said Mrs. Weller. If you just keep this ice on your toe, it will start to feel better, I promise. I shook my head real fast. No, it won't, Mrs. Weller, I said. I know it won't, because Mother already put ice on that same toe yesterday, but today it still hurt, and that's how come I had to wear sandals to school. Oh, dear, she said. You mean this poor toe was already injured before you came to school today? I did a sniffle. Yes, I said. It was injured a real lot, Mrs. Weller. On account of yesterday, I kicked a cow, and that thing was solid as a rock, I tell you. Mrs. Weller's face went funny. You... Kicked a cow, she said real soft. Yes, I said, and the cow was full of water, and a cow full of water doesn't even budge. After that, Mrs. Weller got very speechless, and she didn't ask any more questions. She just kept holding the ice bag on my foot. Plus, also, she mumbled to herself. Room one stretched their necks to see my foot. Then Shirley stood up, and she said that she knows just how I feel. Because one time she accidentally kicked a brick, and that did not feel good either. And then Roger said he hurt his toe before, too. Because last year he accidentally picked a refrigerator, kicked a refrigerator repair truck. Plus, a boy named Sheldon said that last summer he accidentally kicked a giant tree stump on account of his cousin told him it was made out of rubber. All right, we are going to pause there because I'm going to run out of time. We will finish up Chapter 2, and I will read the rest of Chapter 2 and Chapter 3 tomorrow. And I hope you enjoy.